Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Tuesday, January 3rd. And I just realized before I flicked on the camera that I match like everything in here with my teal sweatshirt. <laughs> I got this at uh, Costco yesterday. It's actually Nautica brand. And I wanna say it was 20 bucks maybe. I like the clothes at Costco. We always look at the clothes when we go in there. I actually got a new set of pajamas, which is on my gratitude list for today. This sweatshirt and then like another sort of black sweatshirt shirt. It's not like a sweatshirt material like this. Yeah, I, I'm like, I am set now with like long sleeve sweaters, shirts, sweatshirts. I got plenty now. So yesterday, this is going to be a quick update because I did not get done, um, as much as I wanted to on stitching and I didn't do any diamond painting yesterday. Sometimes life just gets in the way. I was helping Bill with something. My stepdaughter came over for dinner. So spending time with them and yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So my gratitude list for today, I have eight things on there. Like I said, I shoot for five. But if more things pop in my head, I write them down. So number one, Bill. And you know, and I know I've said this before, when I write his name down on the list, because every single day he's on the list, I always think of something to write about why I'm grateful for him. And today I wrote down, he always helps me with projects. I have seen a couple of posts in the diamond painting groups, and maybe even in the cross stitch groups where spouses or significant others or partners are not supportive of people's hobbies, crafts, all of that. And that actually really makes me sad. Um, so right when I see that, I say a little prayer, like a two second prayer for that person that they're just able to find peace with it or, um, Maybe you know you just find someone that is supportive. So I am so very thankful that Bill will listen to me talk about diamond painting, what I wanna do, give me his thoughts. He will help me with anything that I want him to help me with. Like this room is a big example of that. But besides that, like, because I want to be able to hang up the diamond paintings on a curtain rod with hooks, um, clips, so I can switch them out. Um, instead of the magnetic picture frames necessarily. And I was talking to him yesterday about it and he has this level. I said, I really want to be able to have the hooks like exactly level. He's like, yeah, I'll help you. So, you know, he doesn't hesitate to do things like that. And that's what a partner does as far as I'm concerned. So very, very grateful that he literally will help me with anything that I ask him. I mean, he painted the lid, the, the cover, the topper of my Ikea cart that, you know, doesn't blink an eye for stuff like that. Um, number two, pumpkin spice creamer. So the pumpkin spice creamer that I used to get was by Coffee Mate and it was like the natural something line. I didn't see that in the store. So yesterday I picked up two bottles of Starbucks pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte creamer. It's so good. I told Bill, I said, I'm going to get two because I'm afraid this is going to go away. Cause I don't know. I can't remember if it's seasonal or not. So creamer can last a long time in the refrigerator. Um, number three books. I've always been so grateful that I like to read and I actually read some of my book that I'm reading. I'm reading a book called the village. And I can't remember who it's by. It's by Caroline something. This family disappeared and this other family winds up moving into their house because the mother wants, is a true crime writer or investigator and she wants to find out what happened. Um, the town is holding a secret, like whatever happened to these people, I can't imagine. I'm trying, I can't even like fathom what happened. So I'm about a third of the way in. I'm about 100 pages in. It's a 335-page book, something like that. But reading is something that you don't need anybody else to do. You can do it anywhere. 
and it just I like that it transports me into other people's lives and worlds and some of the books definitely make me put on my thinking cap so I like that very much too Number four, new pajamas. Like I said, I got a pair of new pajamas at Costco and I really like them. They're Calvin Klein brand and they had three different colors. So I picked the maroon color. So the shirt is a long sleeve shirt, but it's thin, but it has three buttons here and CK. So it has their logo on it. And then the pants are, bur so it's like burgundy color. So the pants are white and burgundy checkered. I love them. I wore them last night to bed. Love, love, love. They were $22, I think, $23. And I told Bill, I said, maybe when we go back to Costco at some other point, because they also had blue and black, I said, I might get another set. I like to have two or three sets of pajamas. And when I get a new set, I'll get rid of the set because usually I'll wear them like all year. So yes, very grateful for that. Um, number five, another day off work. Uh, this week, actually... We don't have anything on the calendar yet. Um, I realize, you know, it's it's slow for reporting firms and things to get back into the swing of things. I may be working on Thursday. Yeah. But yeah, just grateful for another day off of work to be able to put dinner in the crock pot, um, a pork roast, and get house chores done, and sit and read my Bible and do all of that. Um, number six, this is, this may sound like a strange one to be grateful for, but I wrote latex gloves and, <laughs> and why it makes food prep easier. So about a month or so ago, when I was cutting up vegetables for fajitas, um, we always cut up peppers and onion. And before I would just, you know, use my hands and then my hands would smell like onion or vegetables or whatever I was doing all day long. And I said, you know what, I'm going to wear, because I have a whole box of latex gloves for crafting, for when I'm like painting something or spraying adhesive and all of that. And I said, I'm going to put a pair of gloves on to cut the, un one of the best things I ever did. So today we had bought what we thought was one big pork roast and I didn't realize that we bought one that had seasoning on it. And so when we were in the grocery store yesterday, we bought like a slow cooker seasoning pack for pork roast and on the back it said you needed brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, which we didn't have those. So we bought those. Very simple recipe, also ketchup. Well, this morning, we thought it out yesterday because Bill's like, can you put that in a crock pot for dinner Tuesday? Absolutely. So this morning when he came down to tell me goodbye, he said, um, the pork roast is seasoned. And I was like, oh, crap. So initially, I was just going to put it in the crock pot and not with the stuff that we had. But when I woke up, I was sitting there thinking, and I'm like, I can rinse off the pork roast. I can rinse off the seasoning. Well, when I opened the package, it's like four different pieces, which is awesome because then it will cook more evenly, I think, instead of one big hunk. And I said, oh, I'm going to put on the gloves. Brilliant. Brilliant. Because my hands did not smell like sriracha seasoning or pork or anything like that. And then I just throw the gloves in the trash can. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. And so I'm hopeful that that's going to turn out good. Um, I'm going to have rice with mine. I think he's going to make a sandwich, actually. I might. I like putting stuff like that over rice. So good. So that's going to be dinner for probably today and tomorrow, potentially. Definitely. Um, number seven, I wrote Bill's Poker Nights once a month. So this Saturday, Bill is playing poker with a group of men that he gets together with once a month. And, you know, it's kind of twofold why I'm thankful for that. Number one... It lets him have guy time. It lets him be around guys. Um, they smoke cigars. He doesn't smoke cigars. He comes home stinking like a cigar. But they have food. They play poker. They have a good time. He's gone from like 4 or 5 in the evening till 11 or 12. And it's a good time. Which also, it allows me to have a night where I can, I always get sushi for dinner when he does that. And then I can diamond paint or stitch and I plan on diamond painting. I really just want to sit in here for a couple of hours and do that. So 
Yes, very thankful for that. And then number eight was heart and hand cross stitch patterns. So I was going to do the Primrose Cottage Stitches pattern next, but I think I'm going to do the heart and hand, the tiny town that's like Valentine themed. Um, Christy, Java Girl Stitches, she's going to do stitch that also. And it's so cute. And they have a couple different ones. They have like a 4th of July themed one and they have a Christmas one. So I'm hoping that they'll come out with other ones. So yeah, I think I might stitch that next. We'll see, we'll see. And that was it. That was my eight things for the list. And I'm gonna be able to show you my stitching progress. And then this video is gonna be over because I got nothing else. So I got done the M in Mary, Mary and Bright. And that was solidly stitched. So I got done that, that done last night. And I actually would have stitched longer, except I was falling asleep when I was stitching that M. And I said, okay, I was going to try to get done the word Mary before I went to bed. I said, eh, another day, another day. And, you know, it's funny. One of the things I should have written on my list, number nine, um, I'm very grateful for my stitching chair that we got. Because if you guys have watched the channel for any length of time, you will know the process it took for us to get that chair. And... Bill asked me the other day, he's like, do you still like the chair? I love it. I love it because it's electric. Every time I hear that, I say, it's electric. That, you know, that um, boogie, woogie, woogie, you know, that song, that, that, that line dance song. Yeah. But no, the chair um, is electric because the bottom will come out. It has two, the head, the back and the foot have two different controls which I had seen Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop. She had a chair that did that. And I was like, I need that because, you know, as a stitcher, I don't want to be leaning back stitching. I just want to be able to have my feet up, but my back straight. And so we finally found one. And I want to say the chair was 700 bucks, I think. Well worth it. I mean, well worth it. And I absolutely love it. So, and it's very plushy and the arms are big enough that I can like lay thread on, my phone on. Yeah, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, we got the chair at Gavigan's. That's where we got it. So yes, he was like, oh, you still liking the chair? Um, yes, loving it. So that's all I got. Oh, one other thing. Okay, so I did spend some time this morning, time that I thought I was going to do some diamond painting this morning before this video, and that just didn't happen. I, even though I am still far away from completing that diamond painting to be able to hang it on the wall, my mind has been working about how I want to do it. So my idea, I want to put decorative duct tape around the border and then hang it with curtain rod and clips because 3M makes curtain rod hooks. So I will be putting those on the wall, a lightweight curtain iron, um, clips that, that hook onto the curtain rod and then clipping the diamond painting to that because I wanna be able to switch them out. And I told Bill, I said, I could probably fit like five in here, one, two, three, maybe six in here, depending on the size. And then I can just swap them out as I finish more. And initially I had thought that I would get some kind of Cricut vinyl organizer to then roll up the diamond paintings and be able to store them to be able to switch out. But the more I think about it, I think that what I wanna do and this would involve storing diamond paintings on foam core. There are people that have put the diamond painting on foam core and then clipped it. And it gives it the bottoms, the, the sides of it, nothing curls up. Because that's my fear. My fear is that the bottom will start to curl up after a while. And that will just annoy the bejesus out of me. Um, so I'm con I was contemplating, okay, how am I going to get foam core that size? Because I looked online on Amazon and most of the packs that they sell are like five or 10 foam core. I don't want to store extra foam core. Do you know what I mean? So I started looking and actually I know Hobby Lobby carries some, but I wanted a piece that was like 30 by 40 so then I can cut it to what I need because like the April Fairy, it's like 22 inches wide. So yeah, I need a piece that 
will fit it. Excuse me. And Office Depot, they carry a 30 by 40 sheet and it's only $7.99. That's reasonable. That is more than reasonable. So I figured what I would be doing, like, and this is way far in the future, when I, when I get done enough that then I have to start rotating the paintings, I'm like, okay, where am I going to store paintings on foam core? Well, I'm gonna show you because I thought this far ahead. I cleaned some of my, I switched around some things in the closet. There's the cutter that I got. Remember the cutter that's gonna cut the sticky board? I moved, this basket was over here. I moved it over here. I moved the stitching stands in the back. I had had my scrapbook things right here. Well, now I have them here. That shelf was completely empty down there. So they stand up really nice. And I was like, yes, because what I wanna do is to be able to use this wall right here, like this space to, to you know, stack the diamond paintings on foam core like almost like artists would store canvas. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's going to be because I still want and I'm just adamant about keeping this space open so I can walk in the closet so I can get to these diamond paintings. And it's funny because I opened the closet yesterday and showed Bill something and he was like, wow, you're amassing a stash of diamond paintings again. Yes. Yes, I am. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I have two diamond paintings on my wish list right now that are not in stock. And I know it can take some time for things to come back. In. One of them is Hannah Lynn's Irish Christmas Fay. I think that's what it's called. And the other one is a Chris Ortega one where the woman is doing this. And she's really pretty. Now, the only thing I don't like about that painting is in her hair, her headdress, there's like two eyeballs. I think what I'll do is I'll just have them all be white or all, I, I'm, I'm not going to diamond paint it as an eyeball. It just looks kind of creepy to me. Um, but I love the rest of the painting and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. The woman is gorgeous. Uh, so I'm waiting for those two to come back in and I'm just so very excited to see going forward what Hannah Lynn ones that they release. And um, yeah, I think 2023 is going to be a, a really good year. Um, lots of things, you know, happening as in Bill turns 50 in April. And I really want to send him on a fishing trip, like something that he's always wanted to do instead of having a party. Um, trying to plan a party gives me anxiety. I am not like a party person or a good planner for stuff like that. Um, so we're taking our cruise in May and that is supposed to be for both of our birthdays. Like we're gonna, actually gonna be there on my birthday and then it's supposed to be our present to each other for our birthdays. Um, Bill does wanna go to um, a Brazilian steakhouse for dinner for his birthday. So we'll definitely do that. Um, but we agreed no presents this year because of us taking our cruise. And then um, in September, it's our 10th wedding anniversary. So that's a milestone. That's definitely a milestone for me because I was only married to my first husband for four years. So 10 years. And in April, we'll have been together for 14 years. So yeah, big things big things, big milestones coming up. But one thing, one last thing that I wanted to say about um, resolutions, you know, and I meant to say this in yesterday's video. As we go forward and, um, you know, a new year starting, most people just want to do all of these resolutions that involve doing less of things, spending less money, eating less junk food, having less weight on your body, less, 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 right? Which, how about, and I saw this on someone's post on Instagram, how about we like kind of flip the script on that and we say, we're gonna resolute, if that's even a word, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's have a resolution of more, more joy, more reading, more crafting, more kindness 
and love towards ourselves and others and just more of the good stuff, right? Yeah. I don't make resolutions. I, it's been a couple years since I've really done that. Um, I feel like it just sets me up for failure and then not feeling good about myself. So I go through enough not feeling good about myself. So um, don't need to invite any more of that. But definitely, I'm definitely for the more crafting and more kindness and just, like I said, being more loving and kind to ourselves, each other. Yeah. But okay, I hope you guys are all having a good Tuesday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.